All right, so this is just going to be a couple or a few minutes, like, long video. Just basically me, like, going over what I said earlier that I guess has changed since what I said. Or I'll, I'll just, I'm not even going to give, like, an intro because this is literally just a couple or a few things I'm going to talk about. All right, so the first thing is, and this is in mainly in regards to my Season 3 predictions. So the first thing I said was... uh. Or one of the things I predicted was that I wanted Plague and Tiki to see each other's miraculous holders. So like them to see Adrian and Marinette and and basically know that they are Chat Noir and Ladybug. And I said this like I said I wanted this to be like there one I wanted to be a brief period of time where Plague and Tiki knew who both Ladybug and Chat Noir were while Adrian and Marinette still didn't know each other's identities. But and I said I wanted to see this in three season three, but this has actually already happened in uh, the in the Dark Owl episode of season two because I started rewatching season two and I got to that and then I saw that and I'm like oh yeah I forgot this happened so they already saw each other in the container when they were forced to de transform in order to like escape and beat Dark Owl. Another prediction: this one just happened. This is in regards to season three episode two. Um, one of my predictions for season three was that they would dissolve the love score even further and just focus on Marinette and Adrian. Apparently, episode two of season three is entirely like a Marishat shipping episode. From what I've heard and from like screenshots I've seen of the episode, that seems to be true. I could watch it and it may not very well be, but from what I've heard, that's essentially what it is. So, yeah, I just needed to say those two things because from it's it hasn't been too long since I made that video so I might as well say it now and I'm not gonna like re-edit the video to include this and this will just be mainly in regards to that video but actually I wanted to say something else and this isn't really in regards to season three predictions video just like I guess some of the not even related to any topics but from well, this is related to a topic, but from what I've been saying, um, I've speculated that Hawk or Gabriel does know that you need to sacrifice something, or I guess he does know that there's sort of like, when you use a wish, you need to balance it in a way, in that obviously the most logical balance for bringing a person back to life is to sacrifice someone. And I've always, I think I've said or mentioned a couple of times that I think Gabriel intends to sacrifice himself in order to bring his wife back. Thinking back, that was kind of like the only real option that I thought he would do. But it's it seems kind of stupid, especially the reason why I thought otherwise or that he would do otherwise was during the season two finale. Because I rewatched it a couple or a few times. And at the end, like not the very end where it's Marina and Adrian, but... When Hawkmoth eventually, or Gabriel, returns to his house and he sees Natalie and, like, confronts her about it, Natalie says something like, I want to be with you till the end. And that obviously, I think everyone, like, first, ever, for everyone that, like, first clicked for in regards to her using the miraculous. But I think that wasn't necessarily, or it obviously was meant to, like, be in reference to her using the peacock miraculous but what it could also mean is she intends to sacrifice herself or at least gabriel intent or she may know or she may volunteer to sacrifice herself in order to being bring gabriel's wife back i think that's a much more likely scenario if gabriel were to win as hawk moth and get both Ladybug and Chat Noir's Miraculous and bring his wife back. I think that's he would how he would go about doing it. If you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Like, there's no real reason for Natalie to know Gabriel's Hawk Moth unless he intends f to sacrifice her. And she is seems completely willing. And after, I guess, thinking about that, I can't really see that line where it's like, I'll be with you until the end. As in reference to anything else besides her sacrificing herself in order to bring back Gabriel's wife. Because we know that there's, I guess, no, I guess he could have, um, it, it would have made sense. Yeah, he would have had to 
get her in on it anyway because he needed her as catalyst. But she he could have easily, I guess, akumatized her and then while not letting her know, in a sense. I don't know, but I think that line is more in reference to her needing to sacrifice herself in order to bring back Gabriel's wife. Because also in regards to this, besides not only knowing that Gabriel is Hawkmoth, she, rather than letting him fail, she saved his ass by getting the Peacock Miraculous and, I guess, protecting him. Even though she knew it would cause damage to her, so... I think she not only intends to sacrifice herself, but she was the one who probably suggested it to begin with her. She was the one, Gabriel probably like confronted her about it, saying that he might need a sacrifice in order to bring back his wife. And Natalie was like, you know, if you, it's been a pleasure serving you, I'll take the hit. And it, it, it makes sense because Natalie is probably in this regard, one of the most selfless characters, if she is truly willing to sacrifice herself in order to bring back Gabriel's wife. But anyway, enough about Natalie, because also in regard, like this is more so related to Gabriel, but Gabriel, whenever he speaks about bringing his wife back, he speaks about as if like he'll be able to stay with her or they'll be able to be together again, rather than him just like, you know, seeing her one last time or telling her I love you one last time before he like sort of dies because the universe needs to balance itself. But yeah, this video was a bit longer than I intended, but that last part was mainly something I had to get out. Oh, obviously, I'll mention this during my finale predictions when I do the eventually the one based off Hawk Moth winning, but yeah, I'll give more detail about like what I'm going to do with these finale predictions during the recording for that today because I plan on also doing that video because this is like a short video there's no real I guess yeah I'll that'll be the main video there's no real I guess this isn't a real sort of video for that this is just me correcting myself earlier so from what I said earlier and also including that point but even though I'll include it later it's just something I had to get off my chest but yeah I'm gonna end this video there's nothing left for this video so Yep, um, the next video should be uploaded soon after this because I plan on, I think, recording that video while I'm uploading this one or I might not, I don't know, but yeah, this the next ep video will definitely be part two for that and I don't actually think it'll be the end part. I think I'll do a part three too because there's a few ways it can go, a few directions it can go from where I left off, but yeah, that's it for this video. Next one it is then.